Can you beat Kingdom Rush with only wizards? No bomb towers, archers, or barracks are allowed. I also banned the gem shop and paid heroes because they're completely overpowered. I started the challenge on normal difficulty as it's perfect for a good challenge, and hopped into level 1. There are no upgrades, so I basically just had to spam mages and pray I survive. I unlocked the reinforcements, rain of fire, and then 3 starred the level. After buying some upgrades, I started up level 2. There are huge waves of enemies now, which would be perfect for the bomb tower, but what can you do? I unlocked tier 2 towers, which changed the wizard's stats from this to this meaning I one-shot goblins every single time. I had to play some panic reinforcements and use my reign of fire well, but I still managed to get three stars. Level three was more or less the same until around seven when the shamans came out. Shamans have incredibly high resistance to magic and also have the fun ability of restoring all of their health and everyone around them's health every 0.2 seconds. To kill them, I either have to use reign of fire, which takes forever to recharge, or get all of my towers to focus on one enemy, when I'm usually fighting 20. For this to happen, I usually have to wait until they're at the final bend and about to go take a life away, which thankfully only happened once. They were really annoying to kill, but I managed to maintain 3 stars. The only highlight from level 4 was that I unlocked tier 3 towers, significantly increasing damage once again. But besides that, it was a cakewalk and I was able to unlock Sir Gerald Lightseeker. Up until now, my upgrades look like this. I have 12 stars, and I'm now entering the worst level of this entire challenge. Silver Oak Forest has two paths. The left path spits out high armor enemies, which is perfect for us, as that's what mages are built for. But coming from the left are spiders. So many spiders that we cannot handle. You start out with a level 3 archer, which I immediately sold for $0 and began. My first attempt was rough. After the spiders came out, I quickly lost 3 lives. Then I got overwhelmed by wolves on the left side and ultimately died to matriarch spiders on the right. I tried again with a different strategy in the early game, but died in the same exact spot. Even with a hero and almost maxed out stats on the wizard, it wasn't enough. I didn't feel like my strategy was terrible, so I decided to grind more stars. I can't do the iron challenge on some of the levels as they ban mages, but I completed the ones that I could along with all of the heroic challenges. This got me all the way up to 18 stars in total, and allowed me to max out wizards and get 3 upgrades on reinforcements. I thought about upgrading the reign of fire, but the cooldown period is simply too long to justify the hefty star investment. The 5th wizard star upgrade was by far the best though. The upgrade slows enemies every time they're hit by a wizard, and once you start stacking wizards on wizards, you stack way more damage. To top all of this prep off, I entered level 5 with a new strategy. There's not really much point in defending the left side, as it's easy. I want all of my hard-earned cash going straight into the right side, but I do need to kill the left side at some point, so I started investing everything into the end. It's a little risky, as if enemies get past there's no stopping them, but it's the only place I can defend both lanes. I also spent money on the right side to start dealing damage to spiders as soon as possible. With upgraded reinforcements, they were able to hold their own against enemies and stall them for much longer, even killing them sometimes. This may be able to retain all 20 lives until the matriarch showed up. I managed to kill the first two waves of them with just my hero in defense, and saved the reign of fire until the third wave when I needed it the most. I ended up losing 11 lives in total, but managed to beat the level after hours of trying. If you're enjoying and want to see more like this every Monday, then subscribe. Thank you. The next level is the Citadel, where you unlock the Arcane Wizard and some crazy stat buffs compared to the Tier 3 Towers. Thankfully, because you unlock this wizard, the level is built around him with high armor enemies and a giant hunk of metal for a boss fight. I flew through the stage and ended up with 3 stars. The next level was pretty easy, although I did notice a woolly mammoth stuck in an ice block, which I never noticed before. This stage also unlocked Malak Hammer Fury, my favorite hero, for obvious reasons. I also had enough stars to change up my strategy. Do you remember when I said that the cooldown for the Reign of Fire was too long? Well, it just so happens that two upgrades reduce it by 10 seconds each, while simultaneously making it stronger. I also had enough leftover stars to get two upgrades on my reinforcements. Unfortunately, the next winter level is significantly harder than the last one. They have stronger enemies, and for some reason they thought it would be a fun idea to have even more spiders. 
Thankfully, Hammer of Fury tears through spiders like it's nobody's business. He has an attack where he slams his hammer down and stuns everyone around him. I also get a lot more money and have more powerful towers to deal damage, but there were still several very annoying leaks. The Rain of Fire helped out a lot, but sometimes the cooldown wasn't quite fast enough. Two stars. In the final winter level, we unlock the other tier 4 tower, the Sorcerer. It has all the same stats as the tier 3 tower, but when it shoots magic, it infects the target and does damage over time, like poison, while also reducing their armor. Since he does that, he's obviously better at defeating high armored enemies, while the arcane wizard does well with high health enemies, since it does more damage. Since level was built around the wizards, it was a pretty easy win, and after defeating this massive yeti with a neckbeard, I finished out with 3 stars. The waste is next on the agenda, and I had a pretty good plan for it. In every normal playthrough, I put a wizard on the right, as all it does is spit out high armor enemies, and one or two sorcerer wizards can take them out no problem. Then on the right, I kept my hero and spam reinforcements and arcane wizards with everything I had. They send out high health demons along with a whole cemetery of skeletons to try and overwhelm you. I was thankfully able to get enough wizards up to take out all the enemies, and when I felt a little claustrophobic inside too many of them, I had the rain of fire to take them all out. The next level was really annoying. My general strategy was sorcerers on the right to take out high armored enemies and arcanes on the left for demons. But arcanes aren't really the best and I had constant slips, especially in the early game. This caused me to have to use reinforcements and rain of fires, which just caused me to get more and more behind. I lost half of my lives, but still managed to somehow hang on and arrive at the final level. To account for different types of enemies, I basically tried to place arcanes and sorcerers on every other tile to weaken armor, and then a powerful death ray zap them away. And that worked all the way through the 15th round, when Veznan came down and fought us himself. I wasn't focused on him as much as I should've, so by the time I activated his demon form, he was scarily close to the exit. I did my best to stall him using my hero and reinforcements as much as I could, and just barely managed to make him explode into a bunch of green balls. If you enjoyed, then make sure to subscribe and watch another video here. Thanks for watching.